Hi guys! Yeah, so a friend of mine asked me if I could do a video tutorial about um, how to play the, the organ in a ska band. And uh, he said, yeah, you could do this on YouTube, so um, you will have like 20,000 followers or something like that, or clicks at least. And I said, yes, uh, well, I can do so, but problem is, uh, well, I don't speak very good English and if I do it in German, yeah, I will only have like 20. And he said, doesn't matter, so it's more fun for us. Yeah, yeah maybe he's right uh, about that, but uh, we will do this tutorial anyway. And yeah, so Ulf, one question. Do you speak English? Okay, if not, this is uh, not for you. Okay, okay, so let's get started. Most of us uh, who first play as a keyboarder in the ska band, yeah, we had lessons in how to play piano and often it was uh, like a piano, classical piano. So, and problem with classical piano is there always is uh, the left hand, the left hand is uh, for the bass line and the right hand is for harmony and melody. And so, yeah, and then maybe you're like a teenager, 15 years old, uh, you have some lessons, uh, classical piano lessons, and then uh, somebody asks you, hey, we have got a ska band, do you want to play in a ska band? And you say yes, and yet you practice a lot at home and you listen to famous music and ska music. And uh, after a while, yeah, you play like, no, you play like this. practice this famous ska song and then you come in the band and you do like like this yeah you do like at your first rehearsal and you go on playing and uh, suddenly the bass player comes to you and say what are you doing there and you say what 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 what, what? I, I'm playing monkey man yeah Every ska band plays Monkey Man, so why can't I play Monkey Man? Let's play it together, yeah, let, let, yeah, come on guys! And he said, no, stop, 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 stop. Don't use your left hand. Because the bass line is my job, I'm the bass player, and don't use your left hand, or either, well, I cut you the head off, or you can go home and play alone. And he's right, because, uh, if you play together the bass, like this maybe. Yeah, and this is, uh, sounds a little bit funny, but often a little bit weird. And uh, the problem is, uh, we you, Europeans, uh, we don't understand the concept of laid back. And uh, the bass always have to be a little bit uh, uh, laid, be laid back, yeah. So, um, yeah. And that doesn't fit together and uh, you can't do any variations and so on and so no no left hand and then you are there and you say this is very no doesn't make fun and uh, this is always in the off so and you are don't you are not used to it do you we will don't get on the on the off off beat so what what, what are you doing you like some funny moves and yeah that doesn't look good okay you could say ah oh, I can drink some beer but uh, won't work as well and so one day maybe you get a new concept of it and you say okay I can use both hands playing the organ in a ska band yes that's that works so and there are three essential beats let's say and first of all even, uh, especially if you come from the piano. The organ is a different instrument and you have to think it when you play in a ska or in a reggae band as if it was a uh, yeah, a rhythm instrument. Yeah, like a like percussion. So you can practice like this and uh, this, this will be better. And you also have to think about, yeah, on the piano it's like, okay, it stops after a while, yeah. And here, it never stops. 
So, okay, these are, the, these are the problems. So what can we do with both hands? Okay, first rhythm. Either you got the either you got the off band on the right hand and on the left hand you play on the two and the four and the, yeah, two and four, like uh, together with the snare drum often. So it's like So, either like this or you change. So or uh, this is a move that is really 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 not not difficult not difficult. Oh no, this one not, was a different one. So this is uh, even yeah this is this is very easy yeah so like this and um, after it, yeah you can do some variations or a little bit of melody yeah so like this and yeah, let's get started. I prepared a bass, the bass player prepared something. So this was the first one in variation now. No, what was what did I play? Ah, I wanted Okay, so this is a really essential stuff. It's all about that. So three variations, and yeah, you got to practice them a little bit. And uh, after that, you can do some variations more and more and more, and just play different stuff. And yeah, so that's all. Get started. <laughs> 